Oh my goodness, what a travesty. So now, Elon Musk, the big 420 date, which is I guess when all the check marks were going to go away, people have to pay $8, the celebrities don't want to do it, why aren't they doing it, what's going on with Twitter, let's get into everything. And first guys, I do want to break down uh, why this is happening, why do you have to pay $8, why is Musk taking the check marks away from everyone? And then I do want to talk about the ridiculousness of it. If you are a celebrity, I mean, like, dude, we're talking, there are legitimate reporters who are, I guess, are triggered by Musk because he's a Republican that don't want to give him $8. These are reporters. Their job is to be verified to report news and they won't pay $8. That's how funny it's gotten. But first, let's talk about the overall strategy by Twitter, and this goes back to Elon buying it. You know, what? how bad was the bot problem? My estimation was it was probably about 20% of the Twitter accounts were bots. Uh, people say, oh, it's like 50%, 60%. Other people say it's 5%. I think it was around 20%. It was a serious problem within Twitter, and there was really no way to completely kill that problem now. They did start making it, when you made accounts, it became harder. You had to verify a bunch of stuff. Uh, but now, I think Elon, like the future of Twitter, in my opinion, everyone's going to have a blue check mark. Or like most, if you want to be taken seriously on Twitter, you're going to need a blue check mark. And the reason I say that is because they actually uh, released code or whatever, the algorithm of Twitter. And apparently, if you're verified on Twitter, you've got the blue check mark. Your tweets do 100 times better. There's a big incentive to being verified. You don't get those major banner ads or whatever. Uh, I do not have the blue check mark. I, I don't pay $8 or whatever. But I actually, I'm, I tweeted out, I'm very tempted now. Just because all these celebrities are so triggered. Oh my God, I'm giving $8 to Elon Musk. He said he's a Republican, so he must be racist. Meanwhile, they'll go to a Disney movie and pay that billion dollar corporation no problem. Uh, but it's just funny. It's like, I don't want to give bil a billionaire money. I got a newsflash for you. Pretty much every time you make a transaction in some form, you're either giving some billionaire, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, whoever owns the company, your money. That's just the reality of the situation. But I think what they want to make Twitter, again, where... It gets to the point because right now, you know, obviously you introduce the blue check marks. People are going to be pissed anytime you take something that was free and you make it cost money. The immediate reaction to that, people are going to be angry. Of course, we don't want to pay it. And I think when it comes to human beings not wanting to pay it, it's very interesting. It's almost like an experiment, me looking at humans and kind of the behavior of them. I think it really is more of like a laziness thing because I was just thinking this like, I don't have the Twitter, you know, verification, but I do use Twitter every day, uh, you know, so it's like, it's something that I use every day. And I was just thinking, I've paid for Spotify, which is $9.99 a month, probably for like 34 straight months. Like, I don't even know. I, you know, I pay my gym membership, which is $30 a month. I don't even realize because it's an auto renew, the money comes out of my account. The reality of the situation is $8, it pretty much to everyone is nothing. It just is what it is. I just think a lot of us are lazy. We don't want to give our credit cards, whatever. Uh, but what Elon should be trying to do in the overall strategy of Twitter, we, you need to get it and it's going to take time, but you want to get it to the point where to, to completely eliminate the bots, everyone is verified, or at least the vast majority of people, if you want to be taken seriously, you're verified, and it gets to the point where if someone doesn't have the blue check mark, you start questioning them, you think maybe this is a bot, maybe this is not a real person, that's where I think Elon Musk wants to take this, obviously, the reason you charge $8, well, it's a few reasons, number one, you want to make money, in doing that, you'll be able to limit the ads on the accounts that pay the extra money, which will give it a better 
better user experience if you are paying the $8 and then you want to eliminate the bots, right? There's a major incentive or there was back in 2016, 2017, 2018 before they really upped their verification process when you actually create an account. Uh, there were definite, definite workarounds. There were definite bot farms to where you could be creating on a, like 100 accounts a day, whatever it is, through a system. Uh, and obviously now, if you make it and if you train people, only trust verify accounts, uh, it, it, it's going to be very hard to make and actually influence things using bot accounts. And I think that's really the only way Twitter would die. And that's why I think Web3 has a big advantage is mainly because Web3 is coming at this brand new. You can immediately install, like imagine if Twitter just all the users got deleted and they started over the bot problem would be virtually non-existent because of their verification process now. Um, and because of the idea, if you want to create a bot account, you know, are you going to pay $8 for the verified check? Listen, maybe some of these people are so committed, uh, they'll actually do it, which would kind of be funny. But uh, either way, I, I think it kills two birds with one stone. It makes Twitter more money. Uh, it, you know, it also gives the user a better experience. I almost look at it like... If you remember with the app store when we were younger and you'd go and you'd buy an app or you wouldn't buy it, but you'd buy the free version of it. It would be like, you know, whatever, you know, do, what is it? Google jump or whatever it was light. Uh, but it only gives you like a few levels. You get ads. That's kind of like what Twitter versus having the blue check mark is. The light version, I think they're going to make worse and worse. They're trying to get people to pay the $8. Um, and obviously the first reaction from people is when you make something that was free and you charge them for it, they're going to be pissed, especially the celebrities, because, you know, getting the verified check mark, it was a status symbol, you know, for people, whatever. And, and now obviously all of that's away. It doesn't matter anymore. And that's something that they do not seem to like. But you can see some people there, uh, mainly liberals. Oh my God, they don't want to pay the $8. Why? Yes. No, 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 no. Listen, these people not paying, it's going to affect Twitter. It's going to kill it. I'm telling you right now, uh, that's how, how much money is that? That Twitter lost? Oh my God, they lost $32 because four people didn't pay. My goodness. And then you've got Obama. Looks like Obama's trying to do some sort of workaround. So Obama is verified through uh, the Obama office, which is this Twitter account that's uh, apparently privated and only has two followers. I, I think it's Michelle and, and Barack or something. So it's like a workaround because you can get verified through being an affiliate, but apparently the gold check mark costs $1,000. So there is that. But oh my goodness, George Soros. Listen, uh, let me tell you, I, I, I understand why George Soros couldn't pay the $8. Listen, those Antifa, you got to pay those Antifa people. It adds up. The bills add up. They're probably He's probably paying those people $8 an hour. Uh, sometimes you run out of money. I get it. You know, Antifa costs a lot for sure. Uh, and then the New York Times. I mean, this is just hilarious. You know, you can't pay $8 to make sure you're verified. Uh, it's just completely ridiculous. Obviously, they've been triggered by Musk, uh, and, and they don't want to verify their own, uh, you know, thing on the internet to make sure that people know that this is the real New York Times. Oh my goodness, heaven forbid you pay the $8. But then they'll say, no, it's about... It's about the president. We don't want to give a billion or eight dollars, but you know every transaction you make in some form, it very likely is going to benefit a billionaire. So that's the New York Times right there. President by I, I actually don't know if this one's real. I would imagine they would do a, some type of verification for Joe Biden, but honestly, that's probably more realistic. Keeping Biden verified, considering I don't think Biden's made a tweet in probably five years. You know, I, we all know that that's being controlled by someone else. And then we had this dude. So this guy, who is uh, uh, apparently a writer, uh, got really pissy about it. Let's see what he has to say. Moral of the story is, if you're going to charge people a subscription for something that used to be free, it better be something the user finds essential. A check mark is not essential. Uh, well, I mean, if you want to be a writer and you want to be taken seriously and you want and, and and you're concerned that people might create a fake account of you, yes, it is essential to be verified and it, it is essential for Twitter 
to try and move to this verification process because they know the one thing that would kill them is spam bot accounts, which makes it a terrible user experience on any platform, whether it's in the YouTube comments, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on Facebook. That is the one thing on social media that will turn people off. If you get rampant bots and the old Twitter was not doing a thing about it, Musk comes on and the reason you charge $8 is because you know the bot accounts are not going to pay it, or at least you'd think they wouldn't. Interesting how celebrities are okay with us paying hundreds of dollars for their merch, tickets, books, etc., but as soon as they're asked to pay $11, all heck breaks loose, $8. Yeah, so uh, it's just funny, man. I see celebrities or influencers or whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, dude, th these people sell like t-shirts that cost $40. It's just hilarious, man. I mean, these people are so fake. It's just it, it's just so cringe. And then they're like, oh my God. It's For them, it's not even about the $8. It's the status, man. I mean, that status going away, the blue check mark. Now anyone can get it. It's not a cool kids club. Oh my God. What? You know, that, that's got to be so sad for them. I feel so bad uh, for the celebrities. And then we did have this woman having a mid midlife crisis here. So by revoking my blue check mark because I wouldn't pay some arbitrary fee. Yeah, I mean, my goodness, $8. That's crazy. Uh, someone can just be me and say a bunch of bullshit. Does this mean Twitter and Elon Musk are liable for defamation or identity theft or fraud? Yes, this woman is, oh my goodness. So guys, I think the only solution to this, and, and thank you for bringing this up, I, I think the only solution to this is, is probably the death penalty for Elon Musk for doing this to this poor woman. I mean, this is so sad. I... It, it's so sad to see these poor celebrities struggle. Oh, you have to pay an arbitrary fee. I mean, geez, you guys go to Chick-fil-A recently. This inflation is ridiculous. I'm paying I'm paying like $11 at Chick-fil-A for a meal. It's, it's crazy. But no, we can't pay $8. It's so sad. We don't want to give in to Elon Musk. I mean, e listen, Elon Musk is a racist. And you guys want to know how I know Elon Musk is a racist? He said to vote Republican. So, I mean, he's a racist. I mean, that's just, that confirms it. That confirms that Elon Musk is a racist. Elon Musk wants all of our money. Let's not pay the $8. It's going to affect things. And we'll just have people impersonate us. And then we can blame Elon Musk for it. That sounds like a great strategy for these celebrities. And you don't get your little cool kids club check mark. I'm sorry. I know. It's got to be so frustrating. You worked all your life to, to be part of this exclusive club. I'm verified. I'm, fa I'm, I'm famous. Oh, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt, man. But no, buy my merchandise. Buy my shirt for $40 uh, because I'm an influencer. I'm not just saying it's this woman. I'm just saying in general with these people, it's the same stuff. It's like these people want you to buy their shirt. It's $50, dude. I mean, y y suck my dick. It's, I mean, come on, bro. Like, I I'm just, and it's people my age, too. That's the thing. It's just like these, you just laugh at these people, man. Uh, but that's just kind of the situation with Twitter. Try trying to break it down, like from a business perspective. I think mainly it's to Elon wants in the long run. The idea is to get enough people verified to make it. Because the thing is, when you look at their algorithm, there is a big incentive to being verified. Like I'll tell you guys right now, if my main social media platform was Twitter. Or if like you're an influencer on Twitter, I hate that word, but if you're just, if you do Twitter and that's how you get notoriety, dude, you better be paying that $8 because according to their algorithm, your tweets get boosted if you're verified. If you reply to someone, it goes to the top versus people that aren't verified. Like if YouTube sa said to me, listen, we're going to limit the ads you can run because you're not verified or something and you need to pay $10 to get all the ads available to run. Dude, I'm paying the $10, right? Why would I not do that to maximize my earning potential? So it's just completely ridiculous, these people. If you are someone that uses Twitter to gain fans, you better be getting verified, okay? And then you can't even talk about like the bigger people that are like, I don't want to pay. Um, I know Elon Musk paid Stephen King's and LeBron's. I mean, these people, 
uh, they're worth like millions and billions of dollars and they don't want to pay, you know, the $8. I, I guess it's because they're, they're like, oh my God, hmm, Elon Musk said he's a Republican, so he must be bad. He's a bad man. He said he's a Republican. Oh my goodness. That just, dude, that's got a sting for Democrats, man. This is the richest dude in the world and... He went from kind of being on the left and just being like, no, you people are crazy, man. I, mean, I just can't do it. That's got to stay. But no, no, no. Let's make up excuses. Elon Musk, just some greedy, disgusting billionaire. But no, you like Bill Gates. So here's the funny thing on Bill Gates. If you guys don't know what happened with him, or I don't know, this was from a while ago. So, you know, Bill Gates is Mr. Crisis, the, you know, the, the world's ending because of climate change, all of it. Uh, People start calling Bill Gates out for the CO2 emissions he leaves from taking his private jet around. And apparently if these celebrities use their private jet, it leaves more of a carbon footprint than any normal person throughout their entire life. If they use the private jet once or twice, it's a bigger footprint. It's more pollution. He says that because he's supporting some of this stuff, his carbon, his, his CO2 emissions are actually negative. And it's like, Bill, you're the one telling us the world's going to end. If it was actually that bad, why don't you just stop using the private jet and make the CO2 emissions even more negative if the world's going to end like you said? You wouldn't be using a private jet and even risking those CO2 emissions, would you? These people are just complete frauds. I, I, I don't know. But that's the situation. People lost their minds. They lost their check marks. They're, they're taking a stand against Elon Musk, and we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.